As it is right now, it's like this is the last chance for Kabiesi because it's as if Naomi might never ever come back to the palace. And Kabiesi is so scared. Like right now, they say Kabiesi said he just remember on uh, the spiritual covenant he had with Naomi. And that spiritual covenant is that he will never ever leave Naomi, no matter the situation, no matter where they find themselves, he will never ever leave Naomi. So right now, only of if he feels he has exhausted everything he amplified is saying that him that she cannot talk again that kbc know the needful to do if a prince has saying something else and every other person you understand this the seer have come to the palace and have also make her uh, his own case only of if i said uh, naomi has really endured with him uh, Naomi has really endured a whole lot of basketballs, but that is right now he's beginning to hear all the things Naomi has endured in the palace, and Naomi has really given up on both of them coming together. So right now, only of if I said he just remembered the covenant he and Naomi made, and they made it at midnight that um, they are not going to leave it, they are said they are not going to leave each other. You understand? You understand? But right now, Oni is feeling that oh, it's because of the crown prince thing that Naomi that Ashley said that is that is making Naomi angry. But no, it's because it's not because of the crown prince thing. Oni is just looking for excuses. But right now he said he cannot allow his soulmate to go, that Naomi is the only woman that completes him in this world. Naomi is the only woman that serenates him. Naomi is the only woman that makes things happen in his life. That if he now allow Naomi to go, what example is he giving to the younger generation? So he's not allowing Naomi to go because there is a covenant that binds the both of them together. Only said that a, a lot of people are angry with him because people are thinking, oh, what he's doing to Naomi is not, is not fair. That what he's doing to Naomi, can he do it to Ashley? Can he do it to Miriam? You understand? It's just that when he gets to Naomi, he's still finished. And only is saying that some people are saying that what he's doing to Naomi is enslavement. But he wants to let them know that no, what he's doing to Naomi is not enslavement. That he really, really um, love Naomi. And... As some people are saying that only of is using culture to lie, that he's not transparent, that he should go straight to the point. He has offended this woman. Yes, go straight to the point. Say it the way it is. Which one is his culture? Uh, uh, the children are if our children. Which one is if our children? Who impregnated the children? Is he know you? Is you? Sure, you guys are seeing Abi. So at the end of the day, you guys will see that KBSC knows what he's doing. He's just playing with Naomi's man. He's just being deceptive. And right now, he's coming now with another covenant of love. What kind of covenant of love that cannot be broken? You understand? Ashley love, or I say Ashley. Queen Naomi loves KBAC, but KBAC is very reckless. KBAC is the one that's actually pushing Naomi into this current situation. And he has to pay for it. And not just paying with it like play, play, pay for it. He has to pay for it. Let him feel it. That's why we are saying, Naomi, leave him for some time. Let him understand your value. And if you want to leave him forever, we will still support you. You understand? Because you cannot use tradition and enslave somebody else's daughter. You cannot, you cannot use tradition and enslave somebody else because you're feeling you love the person so much. Love that is not reciprocated. For me, that is not love. That is Shege Banza Limited. Um, KBSC is telling Naomi that he is not the cause of what is happening right now because he took a covenant to be with Queen Naomi forever and he does not intend to break that covenant anytime soon. And he also begging Naomi that Naomi should not break that covenant anytime soon, that Naomi should just hold on a little while, that is going to fix everything. Even though the things that happen in this palace is not his fault. Yes, it's not his fault because he needed to pregnant this woman so that other people in other kingdom we not laugh at him. He needed to pregnate this woman so that they will know that he's a Jaja, he's the Iroko. So Naomi should know that he did that for the culture, you know. Naomi should calm down. But Naomi should remember the covenant both of them have. The covenant is not a plain covenant. It's a very, very serious covenant. If you know, you know. Right now, um, KBSC needs to let Naomi go, let Naomi go and have her peace. Let him stop giving excuses because the more he gives excuses, the more Naomi is angry. All of a sudden, KBAC remember that he made a covenant to be with Naomi forever, and that covenant was an innocent covenant, that nobody was there, that that covenant is between him and Naomi. And right now, Naomi wants to join hand with those people so that that covenant will spoil. That him is begging Naomi, please, that Naomi should not give 
all these people's space, you understand, to see that they fall. And Omi was like, what are you saying? KBSC does not love anybody. As far as he satisfies his Zahoda room matter, he move on to the next thing, you understand. He 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 is not the only Oba in Yoruba land. So why is his own case different? Why is his own case different? Hmm? Since uh, his best friend, Gushi, that is Oba Ele Gushi, married Zainab almost two to three years. Nazi married another wife. Immediately, KBAC did that marriage spray or like married some women within one week. We all know there was a problem. You understand? See, Oba, all those Oba of Ijebu land, Aleke of Egba land, did they marry one million wives? No. Look, look at the Oba of Benin. With uh, the Oba of Benin is one of if, if you are talking about one of the greatest Obas in Nigeria, you have to make sure the Oba of Benin. But look at him, marry just one wife. Because they all know the significant different women and strange women brings to the palace. If you bring a lot of strange women to the palace, they will bring problem. They will bring wahala. They will bring leke leke laka laka. Do you understand? So right now, my beautiful people, as it is like this, so hmm, I'm not lying, you know. KBSC is still whining now, Naomi. Oh, ni, go and enjoy your people. Go and enjoy your picking. Because it's like, oh, ni, love so many children. So, you now have women that will be giving him children every minute. So, what is the problem? All of a sudden, you remember the covenant you have with Naomi. This is serious. So, so why didn't you remember the covenant sin so that it will stop you from doing bad things? Why did... All of a sudden, you remember the covenant. My own is a KBSC, please stop whining. Now, all he's saying is because Naomi is angry with him. That is why everybody in the palace is angry with him. They say if you go to the palace now, that the mood is very, very low. That the mood is as if somebody cried. That the mood, they are so sober because they say, according to the information, that there's a dark cloud in the palace. And KBSC say he does not care about any dark cloud. Everybody should go and go and remove their own dark cloud. I beg he is tired. And right there, everybody is saying, why is KBSC tired? KBSC said he's tired though, because the only person is interested in now is Naomi. Let Naomi come. Any other thing can take the place. That they should go and remind Naomi of, of the spiritual covenant both of them have together. That Naomi should not try and break that covenant. That if she breaks that covenant, she will not understand what he her. That and him he doesn't want anything to affect Naomi and affect himself. I feel this is a trick KBSC is trying to use on Naomi now. Naomi is a daughter of God. Any covenant she enters with you, both spiritually and otherwise, we are very sure that when she prays, God will break that covenant. There is no covenant that cannot be broken on this earth. There is no covenant that cannot be broken. And if you know, you know. Don't let anybody use covenant and tie you down. And that is on period. So guys, put your comment in the comment section below. I would love to hear it from you guys. Let's continue this conversation right there. See you guys later. Peace out.